I think I'm live. I can't see if I'm live because I'm using uh, the rear facing camera on my smartphone. I'm using my Samsung Note 8. Hello everybody. I am out in the world. I am in the middle of a giant field where there's, I mean this is a public park where there's no one around me right now. I'm actually doing a, I'm working on B-roll and doing some testing for uh, the Movo VXR10 Pro which is what I'm speaking into right now, so long as this is actually plugged in. It seems to be plugged in, hopefully it's working. Uh, you can all let me know how the audio sounds. It is very windy out. If you see the tree behind me, it is very windy, and I'm out there doing a test of the, uh, the, the foam windscreen and the dead cat, which are both on the VXR10 Pro right now. Uh, I've got a full review of this mic coming probably Friday, and it's the it's the update to the original Movo VXR10. Obviously, uh, amazingly, it's the same exact price. It's only fifty bucks, and yet it's got all kinds of new features. Uh, but it's not just the same mic with a few new features. It actually is kind of a different microphone. And so there will actually be a lot of people wondering which one uh, do they want. Just because this one says Pro does not mean it's necessarily better. It is different. Um, now, I can't see the screen right now, so I have no idea if you're in the chat. I would have to... Hang on, can I... Oh, the sun just came out. Did you all see that? The sun just hit me. Hit me right in the face. How are we doing on this time lapse I'm working on over here? How much time left on the time lapse? I'm also simultaneously testing out some new gear. This I have a proper video tripod fluid head now, uh, which is going to make content creation and B-roll a little bit easier. And I've also finally picked up the 12 to 35 f2.8 Mark II uh, Panasonic Lumix lens for my new G85. So I now own two G85s because I needed a second one because one of them is permanently a part of my live stream setup. Anyway, we'll get into that some other time. I wish I could see the comments because then I could respond to what you're all saying. Let me see. Hang on. Let's see. Can I switch and see? Okay, I just switched. So now I'm on the front-facing camera. Is there a way for me to see? See the comments. Uh, let's see. I've oh, no, no. Duh. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I uh, I can't really see the comments just because of the way that I've got the, my phone being held by this uh, by this grip right now. But I'm I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Let me move this over a little bit. You have to be careful when you put your phone on the. Uh, wait. Hang on. Chat. Show me the top chat. Don't sh I don't want filters. Yes, hang on. Yes, the mic is lower, is, is quieter now. I forgot about that when I turned it around. Hang on, let me turn the mic around. Here's the mic itself. I'm gonna turn that around and face it, facing me now. Hi, oh, I see so many folks. Yeah, turn the mic around. I got it, I got it, I turned the mic around, thank you. I couldn't see the chat or I would have done it earlier. Okay, the mic is facing me now. Uh, I'm out here in the world. I'm actually using all Movo stuff at the moment, just by chance. I, uh, I oh, hello, I see so many folks here. Shout out to you. I just discovered, watched a lot of your content, very helpful. Thank you so much, I'm so glad. Um, let's see, hello, yum. Uh, turn the mic around, yep. Johnny, hi. Better, good, 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 good. So, yeah, I, it's so windy. I don't know if you can see. Wait, like, look at, look at the, look at these trees. They're really, they're really going nuts. And yet, I think, as far as I can tell, this dead cat that's included with this uh, VXR10 Pro is actually doing quite a good job. And I really wanted to. Uh, to find out how uh, how this sounded in my studio tests, which of course, you know, when I do studio tests, it, it's it's tough to decide how things actually sound because my room is so well treated. Um, it's just you know it's completely dead, as you all know, in my studio. And so every so often, if I'm going to do a review of kind of consumer level microphones or products, stuff like this, I I feel like I need to get out into the real world the way that most content creators would use them in normal rooms that are untreated and you know in in the <laughs> in the real world um so yeah that's that's why i'm out here and i oh my gosh 
the wind. The wind is outrageous. But hey, I'm live streaming. How, how cool is, I feel like we're living in the future. I mean, pandemic aside, forget about the pandemic for a second. I'm live streaming, broadcasting to people around the world using nothing but the phone in my pocket, standing in the middle of a field. I'm in the middle of a field. I'm not in the middle of a city. There's no cell towers right here. I'm in the middle of a field, live streaming. It's just, it's, it's just crazy. I, th I think the, the, we get, we, we've talked, the, all you hear about this year is how bad everything is, and undoubtedly things are bad. There's a lot of bad stuff, but it's a miracle that we live in a world where this is possible. Can you imagine if this pandemic had happened even a few years ago? It would be, be crazy. Don't get me started on the pandemic and cell towers. I don't know what that means, Johnny, but if you're about to go into conspiracy theories, save them for somewhere, for somewhere else. I'm not a conspiracy theory guy, uh, but uh, you are entitled to your own, uh, to your own, I don't know. Let your imagination run wild and have fun with it. Uh, but at the end of the day, do your best if you can to, to stay safe. Keep yourself and your family safe. Uh, is really all that uh, that matters. We're all we're definitely all in this together, as has been very clear over the past few months uh, globally, all around the world. Um, but uh, let's see, 70 mile an hour peak winds down here on the south coast of the UK. I was able to record. Oh, oh, come back! I was able to record with. Um, uh, let's see. I was able to record with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and its deadcat. There you go. Perfect. Um, uh, Johnny's asking for facts, research, and links. Um, literally the entire global medical community has done all that for you. It's, it's all out there. Uh, so, you know, every single country on planet Earth's uh, uh, medical communities have all been doing peer-reviewed, blind, published research um, for the last five months. So there's, there's plenty of it. Plenty of it. You can go find it. I don't need to send you those links. So, plus I'm in the middle of a field doing a live stream right now, so I, I can't if, uh, it's, it's hard to tell Johnny if you're asking me questions, if you're agreeing with me or disagreeing with me, because like I said, I'm in a field doing a live stream. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to argue with you, I'm just trying to have a conversation and keep the dialogue rolling while I'm live here. Uh, and the sun keeps hitting me in the face and it's hot and I'm sweating. <laughs> I always agree. Well, that's... That's that's one way to get along with everyone, isn't it? To always uh, to always agree. Anyway, like I said, whether you think this thing is overblown, whether you believe in it, whether you think there's some conspiracies going on, some combination of all those things, just do what you can to keep you and your family and your community safe. That's all that matters. Oh, yes. Well, that's about all I had. I just wanted to do a little live test to. Uh, Partly to pass the time while I'm waiting for this time lapse. Time lapses always look beautiful. They always seem like a good idea, but waiting for 30 minutes just so I can get four seconds of footage. <laughs> it's, I always forget how long it takes to just wait for it. But anyway, I am very, very happy so far with the VXR10 Pro. I think if I were vlogging the way that I used to, I would be adopting this mic right away. Uh, full reviews coming on Friday and I'm going to, my arms are getting tired of holding up uh, this uh, this phone because I have a tiny little uh, thing here. Uh, oh, hey, quick saying hello, Hank. Very good to see you. Very good to see you. And uh, Ian, it actually works pretty well. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. So let's see if I flip the camera back around. We got, this is what we got here. We're, we're working on a time lapse of the clouds above the horizon, above the, uh, the hills over there for the last half an hour. So hopefully this will turn out to be a lovely time lapse. I am digging this, uh, this 12 to 35 mil 2.8 Lumix lens. I know it's kind of like the standard lens that everybody uses for the uh, Panasonic cameras, but all I have ever used for my Panasonic cameras are mostly primes. You know, I got the 14 mil 2.5, the 25 mil 1.7, because I do all the studio work and I don't vlog anymore. The only non-prime that I use, that I have, is the 7 to 14 wide angle zoom, which is an incredible lens. And I was using that at the beginning of 2020 before we stopped going into the world and vlogging became a thing that was not a part of my life anymore. Uh, the forward-facing camera on the Note 8 is not holding up well. Got this 
this phone in what 2018 still using it the rear cam is magnificent still but the forward facing is just dynamic range is not holding up it can't seem to keep me from blowing out oh well all right good to uh to talk to you all unless there's any questions i think i'm going to take some uh oh man i gotta get out of the sun i'm gonna get i'm gonna get burned i get burned let's get under the shade here you know what you can probably just sit down sit down with this tree and uh and hang out yeah if there's any questions or anything you'd like to see what here let me ask you this i've got a whole bunch of so many products Tascam, Movo, so many products that I can review. Pretty soon I'm going to be working on a review of that giant Tascam Model 12, the uh, the hybrid analog and digital uh, mixing console interface monstrosity that you've seen in, in my studio recently. That's coming. Um, I will probably do some follow-up videos on the DROX, um, the DROX, the DRO5X, but I've made so many videos about that. Uh, the original version of that. I don't feel like I need to rush those out. There's so many of them already out there. Um, I have a four-channel interface, a USB interface, an audio interface from Tascam that's a high-end interface uh, called the 208i uh, that is is exceptional, like truly, truly exceptional. Um, all kinds of jam-packed features and I think since that's like 400 bucks maybe 500 bucks I think a lot of people will be wondering why would you buy that over something like the Focusrite 2i2 so I'd probably do a video on that explaining why something that looks very similar to the Focusrite or to like a PreSonus audio box would be so much more expensive um, and uh, why you might want that depending on who you uh, who you are uh, oh Johnny I buy newer yeah hey listen I I use a ton of newer stuff. All of my lights are newer. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love their, uh, they, they make good 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 uh, budget stuff. I love it, I got a lot of it. Yum, you bought the Tascam because of my video. Appreciate that. We'll pass that along to Tascam, then they'll know that I'm doing my job, <laughs> helping them out. Uh, Tascam is rolling out some amazing stuff over the course of this year, and that that's a company most of you probably barely know because they're not a consumer focused company in terms of you know road zoom these other companies that have really focused on the the dedicated um, consumer and prosumer market whereas Tascam for decades has been one of the major players in the professional grade audio market you find Tascam stuff in pro grade studios and serious project studios all over the world but they haven't done a great job in the last 10 years of reaching influencers, of doing content, of reaching um, kind of the the amateur weekend warrior, dedicated amateur market the way that Rode and Zoom and some of these other companies have. So Tascam Global is finally kind of making a big push to get into that game, which is how I ended up working with them. Um, they're starting to work with influencers, um, whatever that means. and. Because, you know, I went to school for audio engineering. I've been using Tascam stuff forever. And they're just like, when, when they said they wanted to do a collaboration with me, and I was thrilled because I can't wait to be able to bring you uh, you so many more videos about the um, about the Tascam stuff. Because their, their quality, the sound, the quality of their preamps and, and the gear, the routing and the internal um, processing, it's just killer compared to the consumer level stuff that we're all used to as content creators. They're a little bit more expensive, but not outrageously more expensive. So I'm looking forward to do a bunch of stuff uh, with the Tascam products. They also sent me two pair of uh, uh, mixing headphones, big over-ear mixing headphones, which I haven't really played with yet, and I will have to do that. So maybe I should focus on some of the Tascam stuff after I do the VXR10 Pro. Uh, which I've been promising Movo for like two months that I would I would I would do. I'm trying to get it as much as I can before the baby comes. We're like a one month out from the baby. Um, I think I just saw Ian said the early Tascam ca uh, cat uh, cassette cassette four track recorders were amazing. Yeah, exactly. They've been so the they used to make these Porta Studios, which musicians loved. And this Model 12 that you've seen, this big analog mixing console, looks um, looks just. It, this thing is amazing. It's it's amazing. You know, when you look at it 
on its face it looks like a glorified Rodecaster Pro. But what Rode has done, which is brilliant with the Rodecaster, which is make it kind of everything's one button, intuitive, anybody can plug it in and start using it within minutes. Tascam, it's not that simple. It's a big learning curve, but the power in that machine is like tenfold or a hundredfold <laughs> in the Tascam. Uh, you need to learn how to use it. It's not intuitive, but once you do learn how to use it, it's a content creator's dream, especially for someone like me who makes lots of different kinds of content for different projects on a regular basis. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, Ian, way ahead of other companies. Uh, Johnny's asking, please recommend an easy audio engineering school around Philly. Oh, you're around Philly, Johnny. That's cool. That's cool. I, I You probably know because I've mentioned before, but I'm from Buffalo, New York originally. And so I used to uh, drive through Pennsylvania all the time. Um, I have lots of clients, uh, the entire Penn State system. I've, I've spoken on or performed on basically every Penn State campus. Um, yeah, Philly's... It was a cool area. Um, a local studio to see if they will teach you. Well, here's the thing. You're probably better off learning from YouTube, learning from online courses than trying to get into a real studio because most of the work that you'll be learning in audio engineering these days is in the box, which means working all within the computer. Learning the hardware gear that's something you might need to, you know, get some hands-on experience with, but you don't need to learn the crazy hardware gear to get into audio engineering these days. I mean, and I don't mean this as a plug for my own product, but like, for instance, for 97 bucks, I sell the Audio 101 for Content Creators course, which is like a beginner's master class in audio engineering. And for just a, you know, for a, for just short of a hundred bucks, like you don't have to go buy my course. There's other courses like that. I'm not saying go buy my course. I'm not trying to make a sale here. But the point is, for just a, under a hundred bucks, I, I'll save you the first entire year of audio school that it would have cost you forty grand to go do, or a year's worth in training in a real studio. And you can just go back to it over and over and over again. And then you can reach out to me and ask me questions once you bought the course. You know, so there's people like me who've made courses like that at really affordable prices uh, compared to what it would cost you to go to, to audio engineering school. Uh, and this is really true these days of like, if you wanna you know, go to film school, are you sure you don't just wanna learn from you know, online courses? Because going to film school is really expensive and it takes a long time and you could spend all that money, instead of spending that money and spending three, four years of your life, you could be making films and learning and doing and building a network and you know, doing work that matters, um, and getting the hang of it. So that's, uh, that's something. Uh, let's see. Snarky guy picked up the wireless go from road. There you go. It's, um, still in the process of setting up my ultimate drive and talk setup. Yeah. On your scooter. I've been seeing you, uh, in the content creator, uh, connection forum, which by the way, if you all don't know, I, uh, started a very, uh, I'm still in the beta testing, but I started a free uh, forum, uh, a private Facebook group, because who hasn't done that now at this point in time? Uh, I got a private Facebook group called Content Creator Connection, and it's just what it sounds like. Content creators of all kinds, whether you make video content, audio content, you write blogs, you do whatever, uh, you can join there and you know ask for advice and give generous advice and, and share resources on all kinds of things. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Snarky Guy, anyway, yeah, I, I've been seeing you recently try to get that drive and talk set up going. How's it going with the, with the wireless go? I mean, it's, it's a fantastic piece of kit, um, but everything wireless is tricky, which I think I said in my review, you know, I always hesitate to recommend anything that's wireless. It's just so easy for wireless anything to, uh, to fail. Um, I see Ian's giving you some suggestions, Johnny. Uh, hard to teach yourself. Yeah, I totally get that it's hard to teach yourself, uh, but you're not really teaching yourself when you're learning from a course. You can watch the instructor, and then with most courses, you get access to the instructor. So like, even though I don't technically give access directly to me when you buy my course, anybody who's bought my course and emails me or messages me through the Podia platform and asks me a question, I will get back to you because I think it's the right thing to do, even though you didn't technically pay for that, right? So, um, Yum agrees. Learned everything from Google and YouTube. Terrific teachers. Yeah, I, 
I got I I have learned everything I've learned about video production. I've learned from watching YouTube videos and taking some online courses, Skillshare stuff like that. Um, yeah, I have learned a huge amount. Here's an example. So this year, because we got stuck at home with the pandemic situation, I wasn't comfortable bringing contractors into the house to do work for me. So I'm not a. You know, I own a house, but I'm not a. I don't do home improvement stuff. I'm not that guy. I never have been. I don't know how to do any of that. I barely swing a hammer. But because, you know, my wife's pregnant and we're being so careful, we didn't want any strangers in our house this year ever since uh, COVID. So I've been watching YouTube videos constantly. I learned, I, I built the whole nursery. I, I repainted. Now, to, if you know how to paint, that sounds stupid to you, but I never knew how to paint. So I learned how to paint. Um, you know, I, I was able to uh, to paint the nursery and uh, and do the redo the white trim and make it beautiful and patch up all the holes and take out the old thing, the old shelving in the closets and and this nursery and I built the crib and all this stuff. So like, I've learned how to do all that just by watching free YouTube videos. It's 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 amazing that we can do that. Um, so what do we got here? How about explaining balanced and unbalanced XLR cables? Balance and yeah, I I let me think about that. Um, that's actually a tricky subject, and believe it or not, I may not be the right person to ask when it comes to the the electronics of audio, not production of audio. Uh, I'm not a mechanical kind of guy. Same thing I was kind of just talking about with home improvement stuff. I don't know the electrical work. I don't know the mechanical work, and so whenever I speak about things like the difference between balanced and unbalanced. I'm speaking, kind of just parroting what other people have told me. I don't know it well firsthand, and so I don't want to speak on that live here and get it wrong. So let me think about that. Uh, you know who knows about that? Sound Speeds, Alan at the Sound Speeds YouTube channel. He knows all about that. Tell him I sent you. I don't think he even knows who I am, but tell him I sent you, because then maybe he'll find out who I am. <laughs> Because I'd love to uh, start collaborating with some of the other audio guys. I would love to collaborate with Bandrew from Podcastage, Curtis Judd, um, uh, Alan from Soundspeeds, uh, Mike Delgadio. So if you guys also follow their channels, by the way, if you ever comment on them, occasionally comment on them that you'd love to see them do a collaboration with me, and maybe they'll find out who I am. I would love to work with those guys. Oh man, oh my knees, I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> I'm not ready to have a baby that I'm gonna have to be on the ground with all the time. Oh, this is this is a depressing live moment in my life right here. Oh, my knees. I was crouching for a long time. Gotta remember to move around, Brian. Move around. Oh, is this? I think. I think we're done. I think the. I think we've done it. Let's see. Let's take a look and see if we actually got, oh yes, oh yes we did. Oh yeah, here we go, here, all right, so let me, let me show you, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Let's see, can you see, can you see the screen? I feel, I feel like you can't really see the screen. Oh uh, well, all right, nah. You can't. I, I. I tried. I was gonna show you how this. Uh, how the time lapse ended up coming out. Oh yeah, it looks good. It looks good. That's ah, so cool. Time lapses are so cool. I'm glad I just spent 30 minutes waiting for. Uh, for that four seconds of footage. Okay. Tell you what. I gotta pack up everything, head back home, and then finish making the video I came here to make, which is the review of the VXR10 Pro. Um, now that I've done the uh, the windscreen uh, wind vlog style testing, so hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to establish a regular live stream, like once a week, same time, same day, every week on this channel, and maybe announce topics ahead of time. Maybe a thirty-minute weekly live stream with a specific topic. Uh, each time that can also include a Q and A or something. If you'd like to see something a little bit more regular. Um, from uh, from the lives, I, I feel like I just kind of randomly go live, which is not great for you, obviously, and not great for me because none of us ever know when I'm doing it. I never know when I'm doing it. 
uh, maybe it would be cool to do a, a regular live stream for the audio stuff for uh, content creation kind of things and yeah let me know if that's something that would interest you yeah I think that's all I got all right thanks so much for hanging with me everyone stay safe stay healthy please please stay safe and healthy and uh, make good decisions and what am I your mom I don't care make good decisions stay safe and healthy and always remember our world is a shared experience every interaction God the Sun every interaction is meaningful every person you meet even virtually is important <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. How do I end this? How do I? It's the awkward how do I end the live stream moment.